Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Iken and today we're continuing our Rookie Balboa run. Where we're trying to beat the game on Legendary Iron Man difficulty with four rookies, four rookies only and nothing but that. We have permanent dark events as well and a lot of trouble but we made it somehow, miraculously through sheer luck and determination uh, to the Black Side Data Coordinates Mission Operation Wolf Beast. At least a um, codex, a couple of uh, specters, uh, sector pod, lots of advent and archons and andromedon. So pretty much the entire book that they could bring. Uh, for the codec, uh, codices, I wanted to maybe use um, the school jack that allows us to spawn the avatar on a non-timed mission. So we have two get out of jail cards. We got two shreddings. We got two blue screen rounds. And I'm debating with myself if I want another blue screen round. Upon realizing how the team comp looks, we're going in with a third blue screen round. Because why not? We're taking it because I can. Here we go. Let's jump into the mission. All right, we landed. Let's get this going. Slow and steady wins the race in those in those missions. Let's have a little sneak peek, shall we? All right, nothing there. Fantastic. Good. Tag teams are forming. And I'm ca I can hear a sector pod stomping somewhere. Affirmative. Moving out. On my way. We should be careful. This might be a well placed trap. I'm all over it. We're charging in. There might be more enemies right down there. Okay, so two enemies are right here. Heading to that location. You almost single out and kill that spectre. And let's see what what the codex really does. Maybe it moves into our direction. It should have tactical analysis. Okay, it moves to here. That's interesting. I'll be really careful with that specter, uh, with that codex. But we could get back up if we wanted. Uh, I don't want to trigger it now. And I also don't want to kill it, so let's just fan out a little bit, hunker down, and wait. One of the Chosens will spawn. It is the Assassin, the one that I wanted to fight the least. She's a pain to deal with, specifically due to her 
unbelievably annoying planeswalker ability. Okay, there's another pack here. Whatever you presume to strike, I will be watching and waiting. I wonder. Look. Let's call a spade a spade. We will have a problem to get that chosen out of their cover, right? They will be very well concealed. So for the time being, our best bet is really to overwatch here. Oh, in case of Roby, reload. And then wait for it to strike. It's a bad plan, but it is the best bad plan that I do have. One more turn and she should be here. The Lost Swarm might give us a slight edge. An advantage because they could scout for us. Some moved back to the street. Like to the left there. Here. Might be an indication that she's just around the corner. we're just overwatching i hope that the swarm will help us to spot her out i think she's still up there so one more double move for her she can't yet attack she will end her turn somewhere around here and the swarm might just be able to catch her out Okay, we spotted her out. She's back there. And one of the interesting things that we could do with that knowledge is... Explode parts of the bridge. And that car. This might spawn more loss, which again would be in our favor, and Planeswalker will force her to move. You and your meddling forces are not welcome here, Commander. If this world is to be mine, the Elder's plans must come to fruition as they require. It's one of the Elders chosen. So she's somewhere here. I'm not sure about where exactly she's standing because there is that graphical glitch. Two, four, six. Yep, that's a kill. She appears to have half cover, which could be really anywhere. Could even be behind us. Let's see, is any of this going to flank her? So standing here flanks her. Standing here as well, so I suppose she might be there. I guess at least.
But should we double shoot? Hmm. Not a terrible idea. We're going to get shot back, but we will we would be shot back anyway, so let's see. That's a miss, she shoots back. And of course hits. That's 70% shots and she managed to just dodge both of them. Alright, come on. That's another miss. Uh, advanced repeater, well... Let's try Let's... So we got... We got 80... Uh, we got uh, near 70%, 75, 75, 75, and 68%. And... Weren't able to get her down. No, not even not down. We weren't able to hit a single shot. That's the first one we hit. All right, Overwatch. What an unfortunate turn of events. We really drew the short stick there, but. Can change any moment. As effectively we could hit her next round and just yeah. Just execute her. See that's the shot that I was hoping we would get on to her. Our high ground is is a great position. We we are in a great position and I used the right cooldowns. Sometimes it's just not working out. Like 70%, 75, 75, 75 and uh, 60%. That could have been five hits and might have well been like, yeah, the end of her. Okay, something has triggered the waiting state once again. Okay, unfortunately we're down or back to the situation here. Not sure exactly how that happened, but yeah, the game froze and we are back to the old normal. Good. We're going to Overwatch, Overwatch, reload Overwatch, and reload Overwatch. Not even sure where the loss is. I think she's still up, up there. Okay, 
do all this a bit different than the last time. I wasn't sure if she was back there. I'm typically trying to replicate kind of the uh, the play one by one, so that I do not get any advantage from essentially knowing uh, what would happen. Oh, I wish she would just shut up. Back Good. This should not only trigger her and remove her armor, but also um cause a couple of explosions lots and lots and lots and lots of losses to here go on strike come on let's get her down that's a nice hit One, two, I think we will go back up. She's far away. I'm not sure if she could reach us if we're staying all the way back here. Two, four, six, eight. Good. We're moving up. to give over a teamwork try to hit uh, to try to hit her with overwatch i think no that's not that would be a bit wasteful we need the teamwork uh, later can't just always use it she's going to be the most dangerous of all foes Okay, we can deal with the Stun Lancer via Mimic Beacon. The tide is turning. Not sure how we're going to deal with her. Ah, almost. If they would have hit her, she might be in a... She might be in a different state. Look, this here could be a thing. Saying it's uh, the best idea. 
it's potentially it's not. This here is a better idea. Full cover into 60% shot, come on. Good hit. I was thinking whether or not I should move over and oh finally the execution okay not a minute too early <sighs> you gotta hate her you like with all the uh, all of your guts she is well trained super hard to counter the regeneration Shot back. We may not have put them down for good, but at the very this is just the chosen for another day. Very, very annoying. All the move. All right, so. That's a 50-50 to kill him. Isn't happening and we're not going to waste a lot of energy here. Go do your dirty stun lancer work. You earned your mimic beacon. I need the extra shots for the sector pot if and when that one is coming. I forgot about bleeding rent. Such a great dark event. Great. Hit this guy or destroy the cover. Oh, that was good. That was very good. Thank you, Lost. Thank you. Got time to kill a couple of these guys here. And so far we're doing well. I think the cooldown management is okay. Two, four, six, seven, yep. Good time to kill this guy. Very good. Moving into a direct flanking position. That's a kill, and this could be a kill. Moving. 
trying to do all of this without using cooldowns or consumables. And of course he's dodging, so that means we can't do it without free reload. Yes, and kill him. Boy, that was a fight. And we've just started. I mean, we've not even uh, left the starting zone, right? We got it all. Start the fight. Computer uh, doesn't like the fight. You restart the fight. Needed to go into round two. Wow. Wow. Just wow. Okay, so what are we going to do? I think... Recovering the loot would be great. Let's hope we're not immediately triggering. There is an advent data pad. Okay, cool. Reloading. Very good. Moving. Moving. And double moving. Keep the group together. Keep the whole situation nice and tidy here. Still hearing a sector port somewhere. And I'm hearing losts. Okay, so we want high ground over here. Just in case the losts are coming. Reload Overwatch. It's unbelievable. We're still at the, like, what? First pack, the half of the first pack, then needed to fight uh, the Chosen, Lost Swarm after Lost Swarm after Lost Swarm. I mean, as, as much as I love the Lost, but this campaign is just so over to the top with them. Keep in mind, we already killed 1,300 Lost. Like, that is more Lost than any other enemy together. And it's not that we were farming them or we're trying to be a little bit sneaky to, to get some more experience. Pfft. As if experience would do anything in this run. Good. we're moving over here soon we're taking this one i'm just trying to have a bit of a position here that makes sense and if possible lure one of the packs into an overwatch trap because i do have a strong suspicion that there are more patrols here that we just don't see and i really want to use the high ground as long and as much as i can it has worked well against the chosen It certainly works well against the Lost, of course, but they really don't count. Like, nothing that they are doing is going to be scary for us. As long as there's not another pack that is going to attack together with them. They are de facto just here to be slaughtered. Nice little large magazine. Really appreciate that. Back no longer a threat. Moving to position. 
Good, we're indeed moving to position. Reload. Overwatch. Overwatch. Could be someone coming from here, maybe. Just walking into us. Full cover. So lots of overwatch. Still no one in range really. It's a good position for us. Full cover, high ground. Could really fight from here. Good. It's not going to attack us right away. Are we risking it or are we just going to shred storm? Are we essentially risking to try to take it out without shredding? We will likely need to... Um, we will very likely need to use the Mimic Beacon anyways. But we have three shots. Not going to, some of them are not going to deal a lot of damage, but we do have three shots. And there is still an Andromedon left. So let's try to do this with an execute or just blue screen rounds. No execute so far. Decent damage though. be careful not to trigger more enemies there you go it has tactical analysis so just can shoot once and that's about it Not the best potential timing for a Lost Swarm, but I guess it was about time to ramp up the kill count yet again. Good move into here. Two screen rounds. That's a nice little hit. I think we will get it down even without. Which really shows the power of blue screen rounds. Okay, so yeah, that's a kill.
even with minimum damage he will die now wow what a massive onslaught Good, we're out of Mimic Beacons, and I don't know if that was just a random sector port running around as a solo patrol. Very atypical pack, by the way. Uh, solo sector port, never, never have seen such a pack. I don't know if a bad Advent is still uh, toying with us, but I we had like uh, Triple Elite Spectre and Gatekeeper, which is really the upper end of hardcore hit points. And this one here is strange, but then again, it's not unheard of that they could be separated from from others. Unfortunately, it was a costly victory. Two, four, six, eight. Yep. Endors is wrapping up all of the kills uh, thanks to his superior expanded magazine. Good. We're looking at a lot of shots here. By the way, between the eyes would have been a fantastic... Uh, resistance order for this uh, run of course as you can imagine and appreciate we haven't gotten that because we only got like the worst uh, resistance orders that you could get alright moving up Moving up. Overwatch. Oh boy. And we're still at the entrance. This is not even moving far, uh, further. There is so much ahead of us. So from that perspective, it's not looking super great. Good. Slowly but surely, we're going to move over on that other side. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Understood. Moving out. Io ci sono. Moving to Overwatch. Scanning. Good. The idea now is move down as a pack. Get to the bridge. And hopefully conquer it. There will be losses, many, 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 many losses on the way. But what am I supposed to do every three-ish rounds? Losses appear and just make our life a living hell here. I was hoping they would at some point stop. But that's just not what's going to happen. We're fighting so many of them. The problem is we're also running into them. So it's not really optional for us to push forward unless we want to take some extra damage. Thankfully this here is actually helping. Area is 
Uh, soon, no further free reloads, Mir. I'm afraid. Good, Roby moves there, and I suppose Enders will reload. Good, let's hope that the next wave is the last one for a bit, so that we can effectively advance. Continuously fighting against the loss doesn't make it easier for us. It just creates ammunition problems. And incentivizes to a degree to just stay on high ground and camp. Honestly speaking, I don't know if we can take our the Codex. They have the full ability to take shots. Over here we would be out of line of sight, which is the right play. Okay, so they need to run into us. We got overwatch traps set up. Good, extra hit points for them, fair enough. What? Teleportation into Psionic Bomb, which then again will create a feedback. Out of all of the potential targets, you chose to run to here. Fantastic. Let's do this. Reloading. That's the free reloader. No. We're past that point. Good, Codex gets downed. And Codex gets downed. Moving up, reloading. And let's wait for their response. Priest and shield bearer. I think they would need to double move. That's a single. That was a single move. Does stasis create sonic feedback? It should. 
That's a double move. Yep, that was a double move. Okay, cool. Shitbear needs to die first. Armor still holding. Raggiungo le coordinate. Nessun danno. We have nothing to fear. Let's try that again. We really want to get that shield bearer down. They typically do have Leading rounds as well. <laughs> come on! See, even she says, come on. It's unlikely that he misses. That was. Could have moved here, but then again, we would have been flanked either way. Mind control. That's not too bad, because mind control means she's not going to be the target of his attack. And he misses. Okay, cool. Good. A few things. Number one, Shield Bearer needs to die. Alright, case closed. Number two, can't really get to her in order to free her from mind control. Can't really flank either. Arma pronta. Good. Time to engage. La mira. Even if we do not hit, everybody's in full cover, right? Right. Enabling our teammates, there's still a chance that we can get this guy down. Not going to waste our precious shreds, shred storm cannon here. Come on, hit him. Nice. Is there sustenance? Is it sustenance fear? Yes, it is. All right, just in time. Moving into full cover, so everybody now is in full cover. He only gets one turn or one action when getting out of Sustenance Sphere. Likely going to move. Which will trigger Overwatch and then kill him. him. What the hell? That all was not enough, and now they throw in a loss swarm for good measure we're getting slowly but surely drained of our resources and it's a matter of when not if it's going to end badly mimic beacons gone we already lost them explosives to shred one gone we still got one but only because i have an iron grip on it and am unwilling to compromise and release it any form of action shifts gone auto loaders gone We really only have one shredder and that's that's it like we have used everything else that last pack was more difficult than anticipated 
And it was not due to the loss, it was just... It could have easily dealt a little bit more damage. No longer a threat. And we're running into issues here. I just wanted to push forward the moment that I did one move. We were already pulling the next pack. There is some burning back there, which indicates we're soon going to hear another explosion. And you know what that means, more loss. It seems as if we're stuck in this uh, mm, Groundhog Day mission where we're trying desperately to push forward. Luckily, there is no gatekeeper in this mission. This here would be the biggest gateway that you, you would ever see. Okay, here we go. One overwatch, two overwatches must be enough. Is there still someone from the loss? It's going to be another explosion, so likely also more loss. I told you, there is always a one sucker who hides out and waits for you to move forward. And that's exactly what's going to be difficult for us to move forward. Okay. Good. Heading there now. Moving up. Did not pull anything massive. Confirmed. Not bad for now. Moving out. Affirmativo. I would say we're reloading. We're green to go. We're just reloading. There's potentially a lost swarm happening. But freshly reloaded guns never hurt. By the way, in terms of um, just swarms of uh, loss, yet again, there should be a bit of a pity timer. It can't be that you're uh, that you're spawning a loss swarm every second round. Well, it's, just, it's just getting annoying. How how am I supposed to decisively push forward? I am not. We're finding ourselves yet again standing here. Trying to push against a massive army of undeads. And it truly seems that they are not slowing down at all. I do understand that uh, things are exploding. But then again... I'm, there needs to be kind of a fair assessment. Things are exploding because losses are running at us. Shots are hitting them. And the way that the collision engine works, somewhere further down the map, you're hitting a car or two, and the game just decides, you know what? Let's put some environmental damage up because it's fun. And it's only fun as long... As you're not on the receiving end, I should have brought ultrasonic lures with me. But on the other hand, the blue screen rounds have helped us to kill the sectopod in one turn. So there's that.
one hour into the mission and we really already made it to the bridge just about a hundred enemies that we killed a chosen stun lancers codex specters more advents sectopods and we're halfway in in the mission i can't remember the last time that i had problems with this mission i couldn't even use the the uh, skull check think about that i couldn't even use the fucking skull check Because realistically, if we would have done that, we would have been forced to play against an avatar. That is also plan our shifting. And unless we're having a lucky execution, that would be a really bad find. Okay, Overwatch with Roby, Overwatch with Endors, and two reloads. Slowly but surely making it to the bridge. I've got eyes on Advent Troops. Alright, at least one of the Overwatches worked. Well, let's take a good look here. Full cover is the name of the game, right? first round and he's potentially going to use his shields because they are always trying to do that Again, slowly but surely, 50%, better than nothing. Okay, didn't work. That's fine. It's still uh, half cover. All right, we got some damage going. And we got some stasis going. Fantastic. Back into cover. We are moving over. This could be a good hit. Thanking him. Come on, execute. Not an execute, but a absolute monster of a hit. I'm on the move. Ci vado subito. Good, we're overwatching. It's likely the best course of action. They are in really good cover. But they will likely move. And with a move, this should trigger an overwatch. 
And I was hoping that this Overwatch would hit, but those uh, shots would have not hit even if I would have taken normal shots. It's the problem here. That is the problem here. Oh, that's unfortunate. Fantastic. That just makes it a bit more joyful. this breaks mind control thank you Fifty fifty. Yeah, no. moving up 30 percent But let's start with getting this guy here. Come on. Enemy eliminated. That's it. I'm out. Dasher needs to go. Good, moving up. That Dasher also needs to go because he could deal damage. The rest, I think, is far enough away to not deal damage. Last shot, going for the Priest. And missing. This is such a joke. Can some of them at least run after the Priest? Please. Eighty percent shot yet again missed. The orange Jesuses of this world are not with us in this particular mission. Good time to just clean up as far as much as we can. Look at this choke point here. It's unbelievable. That's like 20 enemies right there in the choke point. Good, let's get the loss. Enemy All right, so far so good. That worked like a charm. Roby moves up. Rock and roll. 
We are reloading, overwatching. And we're having triple overwatch. Uh, it's okay for this round. There's still a priest somewhere out there. Doing their mischievous deed. Okay, look at that. One and a half hours in and we are at uh, the building. God, this is such a banger mission. Yeah, with best regards from Don Syke. Imagine we would be the Mafia. We would be the Rookie Mafia. Okay, so... going to try to trigger the avatar here wow three attempts and three times it failed don't just hit no no okay Okay, wow, so you've made it until the end of the video. That was intense so far. I would have uh, recorded the cliffhanger in between, but the mission overall took almost four hours, so I decided it might be a good uh, way to part it into two segments. We have made it all the way to the bridge. It's a great cliffhanger for the first episode. And we're got, just going to take it up from there in the second episode. I've never had such a hardcore continuous spawn uh, mission with that limited resources. So it was really fun to watch. And I'm hoping uh, that you will root for part two. Maybe leave a comment uh, down and let me know how smooth or difficult part two is going to look like. And we're going to see us in two days. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.